make comments to the show, but you can also connect with me through Facebook, connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. That's right. Here is a TGIF patented hack. Okay, here's the scenario. You want to send TGIF an email. So you literally have to go C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D 222 at G M A I L dot C O M. So you have to do all of that. Okay? And finally, when you get done with that, then you have to type, type, type your email out. Type, type, type. Okay? So by the time you get done, then you have to hit the, hit the send button. Once you do that, then your email is sent. Okay, good, I'm done. I have to do that for another couple of weeks. Rather, here's a TGIF patented hack. Patented hack. Go. Everyone likes the five-minute hacks and five-minute crafts and stuff. So go and download Podcast Portal. Bottom right-hand corner button of every single page. Click on the little envelope. Click on your email client which is Google, Yahoo, Bing, AOL, whatever you use, click on your email client and then click always at the bottom after that. It says always or just once, click always. That way, when you go back to clicking that button again, bottom right-hand corner button of every page of, of Podcast Portal, touch that email button and instantly they'll be sending you an email. And that way, well, they'll be sending me an email, but you'll instantly send me an email. And next time you do it, you just click that button. It takes you right to your email client. You don't even have to touch nothing else. Just one button, type in your email, and you're done. So one button, type in your email, type, 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 send. Easy as that. That way you don't have to C-O-M-M-U and just click and type. The next time you do it, it'll be so much easier next time. So click on the uh, email button on, in Podcast Portal, bottom right hand corner of every page. Click on the email button. Uh, click on your email client, which is Google, Yahoo, Bing, AOL, and then click always at the bottom where it says once or always. Click always. That way, once you get and you, uh, once you click that always button, it's over with. The next time you come back and do it again, you just click one button, type in your email, and you're done. That is a TGIF patented life hack. <laughs> also, guys, not only can you send me an email and connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email, but you can also listen to the, th- to the three play buttons, which I just recently fixed the play button. Evangel Christian Churches was not working. I went through a, a third-party company because what happened was is I was trying to go through a third-party company to get the email button to work. So I wasn't sure how to get it to work right. So the Spotify that they're on, their email button, well, their play button wasn't, I wasn't sure how to do this. And so I went to a third-party company and I examined their stuff and I found where it says height and width. And I put it in there the way I wanted it to. And then I submitted it and it worked just fine. Well, come to find out, months later, their button decided to fail on me. Which I don't know why it did, but it did. So then I said, well, the Spotify button's way too big. I don't know how to use it. I said, wait a minute. I said, let me do exactly what I did when I first got the first button. And so I examined it, and guess what? I found their height and their width. (laughs) And then I just put it to the way I wanted it again, and there you go. It's in Podcast Portal, and it is working. So now you can listen to Evangel Christian Churches. It kept updating just fine. But the play button would never play the audio. Never, never play the audio. It would never play it. So I had to fix that problem, and I did. And it now works. With that being said, so you can listen to to three different play buttons. Number one, 95.5 The Fish here from Cleveland, Ohio. Number two, KJIC out of Texas. And three, of course, my former church, Evangel Christian Churches. Each and every week will be on my app. 
And every time they upload a new episode, it will upload straight to the app as well. So that way you can listen to the to the services live at Evangelical Christian Churches, including their Wednesday night Bible studies. So morning and evening of their church services and Wednesday night Bible study, I do believe as well. As long as they uh, as long as the Wednesday night Bible studies are going to Spotify, you should be able they should be able to upload their it should be able to update their services straight to the app and you can listen to them straight through podcast portal as well. With that being said, not only can you do that, but you can make a Google search result. If you have any questions, any comments, or anything that you want, you know, the listeners or you know, anything that you want to know more about while you're listening, I should say, to the show. Like we're talking on a topic that you want more information about, or say I spoke about Lazarus, do you want more history about Lazarus and who he was and things like that? And uh, you want to know some interesting facts, you can do a Google search result. You can say, uh, who is Lazarus? Or Lazarus. And it'll tell you from Google who Lazarus is. You can do a search result on like faith and all that stuff. And yes, I turned Safe Search on. And I've tested it. I had to look up some stuff that I didn't want to, but thank God that nothing popped up. The only way that you can do any search result for that entirely straight through the app is if you specifically at the very bottom, and I don't want to have to do this because, you know, deviants out there are going to be doing all kinds of crazy things now. No, I'm just kidding. But when you go to the bottom of the page, it will say, search on Google. Because when you do it through the actual app itself, you're not searching specifically through Google. You're searching through the app, through the Google Google search bar. And that alone is uh, has safe search on it. Google itself does not. So when you go out of there into Google itself, that's where the safe search function no longer works. And that it goes to whatever your Google internet is. When you're doing it through the search bar on the app, it's going through the search bars, Google itself, and it's blocking all the filthy, inappropriate things that kids and other people don't need to see out there. It's a Christian podcast. It's not something to where you know you're going, you're downloading it so you can so you can make your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend think that oh, it's a Christian app, so therefore, yeah, I can do all kinds of stuff on there, and she'll never know what I'm doing. No, that's not what that's for. It's not to hide from your spouse to do things you're not supposed to do. Uh, I was watching uh, America's Funniest Home Videos once. It was the original Bob Saget version. And a guy's going around his hometown. He's showing you different places. Here's this corner store and here's this and here's that. And he goes, there's even a billboard for one of our gentlemen's club clubs. And he says, and the next sign says, Jesus is watching you. So with that being said, Jesus is watching you. So make sure you're doing the right things. I know as Christians should be doing the right things. Yes, we're infallible people. Yes, we fall short of the glory of God every single day. I fell short yesterday. I fell short the day before. I fell short the day before that. I fell, I fell short every single waking moment of my life. I fall short. It's because we just, we just do. It's just the way we, we do. God designed us to not fall short, but through the fall and the sin of Adam and Eve, we now all fall short of the glory of God. But through Christ Jesus, his death, burial, and resurrection, we are all saved. So with that being said, download the app. It's not for me. It is for you guys to encourage you each and every week to give you something not just to do, but to encourage you with each and every single day of the week. So with that being said, download the app, guys. It's not for me. It's for you. I enjoy when you guys download the app, but it's for you, not for me. With that being said, let's get into Worship Saturdays and let's start playing some music because we've been on here for 50 minutes just talking to you guys and giving out the announcements, which is good. I enjoy talking to you guys, but... Let's get into some music. Let's do It Will Be Okay by none other than Josiah St. Jean. Enjoy It Will Be Okay. For every person facing a storm right now, you're not alone. God's got this. 
listen. God is your present help in trouble. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. He's come through for you so many times before. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. There's nothing too hard for him to do. He's gonna make a way for you. Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. He will not fail you. All you gotta do is stand still. Step aside and watch God fight and for you. And let Him fight for you. Somebody needs to hear this. It will be okay. That was once again, guys, it will be okay by none other than Josiah St. Jean. And we are going to get with one I haven't done in a little while. And just to let you know, two more things. Number one, the evangelist Dudley Smith, my guest from last week, is going to be sending me some stuff through the mail. Some music that we can play here on the show. Because he's a great, he's a great artist. And I love his music. And also... So look forward to some Dudley Smith. We'll be able to play some Born Again and all that fun, great songs that he written.